everyone! I'm Katie from LLB Creations and welcome to Back to Basics Bootcamp Tumblr Edition. Myself and two other amazing artists, uh, Kimberly and Robin, will be sharing weekly videos with you guys on all of the best tips, tricks, and Tumblr making secrets. So this week we are starting with episode one, which is prep and painting. So we are going to learn how to prep our tumblers and spray paint our tumblers with one color. So head with me to the kitchen where we will wet sand this stainless steel tumbler. All right, you guys. So I prefer to wet sand because I don't like all of the uh, particles and stuff to get into the air. So this really helps with that. I have my 16 ounce plump from the steel magnolia and this is the stainless one and I have a sanding block. This is 220 grit and this is what I like to use to sand my tumblers to get them ready for spray paint. And you want to do this with your cups because it helps the paint um, have something to grab onto. So we are going to lightly sand this with the water and then after that you will see me wash it with uh, Dawn soap because you want to make sure you get all of the particles off there before we spray paint. So let's go. I just like to get my sanding block just a little bit wet. And we're just gonna do a nice light sand over the entire tumbler. Don't wanna forget the bottom. And now we're going to use this bottle brush from the Dollar Tree. Just give it a night Oops, wash with some Dawn. All right, we're gonna dry this off and head on out to spray paint. All right, you guys, we have our tumbler all dry and ready for some white spray paint. I like to use the flat white from Rust-Oleum and I typically go in with one to two coats of that. If I'm leaving it white, I'll be done. If not, I like to um, go in with one coat of color. Doing the white before doing the color helps you use less of your color, which I find to be harder to find them, so I prefer to base everything white. Um, the other option that you do have is you can buy uh, prepped cups from the Steel Magnolia, and they are they come pre-prepped like this, white, ready to go, and you can just spray these with your color, and that's it. So that's always a nice option. They don't come in every single style she has, so I figured I needed to show everyone how to do the stainless as well. And um, what you'll see here in front of me, this is my, um, just a small box fan and a filter from Lowe's. And the filter will grab all the spray paint and the fan sucks it in. So super nice, convenient, easy spray paint booth, right? So here we go. And I just like to spin my cup in my hand while I'm spraying, and I like to keep a nice even spray. Make sure you get that bottom. If you see any areas that need more, just go in and give them a little bit. So you'll see, this looks pretty good. I don't like to put too much on or it'll start dripping. And then we'll come back in a minute um, and do a, just a tad bit more. Uh, you don't wanna wait too long in between coats. I typically wait about one to two minutes and then I'll just go back in and do that second coat. And now that this has dried a little bit, we're gonna go in and just do that second coat really quick. And now I can see that my middle area needs just a little bit more. But otherwise, I got a pretty decent coat on that first go round. So, there we have it. No drips, no runs. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, let this dry and then we're gonna spray with our color. And I am going to use 
This one is uh, green apple rust-oleum. I prefer the uh, satin and the flat to the glossy paints, but sometimes you can't avoid the glossy because they only color in the colors that you want. So sometimes I do have to use that gloss. So now we are gonna go ahead and spray this white cup with our colored paint. And I always like to test to make sure that it's coming out good before I spray it on my cup. But sometimes these colored ones, they come out all blobby. Don't want to forget the bottom. And now you can see why I typically go in and do that white first, because now I don't need to add any more color to this. Got a nice even coat of green. And that is it. I hope this video was helpful, helpful for you guys and you guys can uh, check out on Wednesday uh, for the next video. Thanks guys.